Hello everyone, welcome back to Lina's Kitchen. Today I will share with you one of my Ramadan table with Algerian menu. I made Algerian burek in the oven as an appetizer and lamb with peas and artichoke as main dish. I will start with an appetizer, it's an Algerian burek recipe in the oven. The original of the recipe is fried, but I wanted to avoid frying and baking them in the oven. And lamb with peas and artichoke is a very light dish, flavored with lemon and parsley, and very suitable after a whole day of fasting. Let's get started with recipes. I will start with burek. You can fill your burek with whatever feeling you like. I stuffed my burek today with onions, chicken, and colored pepper. In a pan, put four tablespoons of oil, one big chopped onion, Cut in lengthwise, as shown in this video, one teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of black pepper, and one teaspoon of thyme. Bring everything to simmer. Add a little bit of water. Cook your onions for about 10 to 15 minutes. Whenever you notice that your onions become soft and tender, now it's time to add your colorful pepper. After 15 minutes, my onions become soft and tender. I will add my colorful chopped pepper and I will cook it for about 10 to 15 minutes. Don't overcook your pepper. 10 to 15 minutes is more than enough for them. Add your chicken breast and if you are vegan or vegetarian, you can avoid it. Now my filling is ready. Let it cool down for about half hour and I will prepare my dough. In a bowl, Put four cups of flour, one egg, half cup of melted butter, one teaspoon of salt, 10 grams of baking powder. Work your dough very well and try to incorporate your melted butter in your flour very well. After working your flour with your butter well, add warm water until you can make a dough. Your dough has to be soft and tender. Knead your dough until your dough becomes soft, but do not knead too much. Whenever you notice that your dough becomes soft and tender, put it in a Z-block or cover it with saran wrap and put it in your fridge for about half hour. Now it's time to make our burek. I added a big handful of fresh parsley to my filling to give it more taste and flavor. Open your dough with a thin thickness. Cut it into circles, fill it with the filling and close the edges with water. If you do not have this mold, you can close it using fork to press the edges. When you have finished the quantity you need, brush your burek with egg yolk, sprinkle some black seeds, and bake it for about 15 to 20 minutes at 350 Fahrenheit until the color of the burek becomes golden brown. Now let's move to cook our main dish, lamb with artichoke and peas. In a saucepan, put 4 tablespoons of oil, 
one stick of cinnamon, one big chopped onion, one teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of black pepper, half teaspoon of cinnamon. Put your lamp and bring everything to simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes until your meat gets golden brown color and absorb the seasoning. Flip over your meat until it gets golden brown in all sides. After that, cover your meat with hot water. Cook it for about minimum 2 hours in saucepan. And in your cook pressure, you have to cook it just 45 minutes. When the meat is well cooked, remove it from the broth and cook the peas and artichokes in this broth for about 10 to 15 minutes in the cooker pressure but if you will use your saucepan you have to cook it for about 25 to 30 minutes After 15 minutes, my peas and my artichokes are well cooked. And now I will take my artichoke first. After that, I will whiten in my sauce. And this step is optional. To whiten in your sauce, in a bowl, put one yolk, half lemon juice, little bit of parsley, and little bit of sauce from your artichoke sauce. Mix everything well, pour it, and stir it to get a white sauce flavored with lemon. Look at the magic now, your sauce becomes white, flavored with lemon and parsley. Don't be scared, the yolk will be sterilized because the broth is very hot and this sauce will thicken your broth and will give it taste of lemon and parsley. And always do this process away from the heat. And the broth should be hot to sterilize your yolk. Now it's time to serve our dish in a serving plate of course you have to serve it hot. Try to make some patterns with your artichokes. Sprinkle some parsley on the top and drizzle some lemon. Lemon and parsley give this dish a special flavor. Now it's time to serve our dishes. I served my burek with my white soup. The dough of burek was great and the filling was very delicious. The lamp dish with peas and artichokes was wonderful. Light on the stomach and delicious, flavored with lemon and parsley. And our Algerian sweet sauce is always on the table, as a dessert, of course. I want just to say something. Ramadan is about so much more than fasting and cooking food. Ramadan is a month of practice self-control and is a time dedicating toward prayer, reflection and meditation. It teaches you to be grateful for all your blessings in your life and to be more understanding toward people less fortunate than you. Ramadan is also about community. It's taking time away from your routine to disconnect 
and come together to share meals and appreciate each other's presence in your life. This is all about Ramadan. I hope my video was helpful. Please like, share and subscribe for more. See you in the next video. Bye.